G'day everyone. Today I wanted to look at uh, taking Capmaster that's installed on an existing computer and putting it onto a new computer. So here we have Capmaster already installed on my computer. You can see a shortcut icon on the desktop. If I run this, you don't have to go very far to find out where it's all installed. If we just click on the advanced button here, then the modify locations, we get told where everything is currently located. This is very useful because this will tell us where all the files are. As you can see here with the programs, the actual program is installed on the C drive, All Master Software, Cabmaster Pro V10 underscore one. Now I've deliberately made my setup slightly different to what the install CD would have. It would have in fact put a dot instead of an underscore. I just want to make that difference because some people could have a difference in their setup. Now above you see all the other different folders of all the other different pieces of information. As the, you can see, each of them has a different path so they could be in different locations. If I highlight one of these, it's quite an easy way to see the whole line. And I can in fact copy that location. I just clicked on the right mouse and click copy. If I go to File Explorer now, I can go up to the top here and paste in that address and press the enter key. That will take me to that location. As you can see, there's all sorts of files in here. If I step one level back by clicking here, I can see all the other folders that were present in my list. If I step back one further, I can see my Capmaster set up there. Now this is where the important bit gets. I've got a USB drive down here, Toolkit USB. But what I want to do is get my Cabmaster over to the other computer. So first of all, I'm going to need to take a copy of my existing setup. So first of all, I'll exit Cabmaster. Now for those of you that are comfortable, you can zip this up and make it smaller. Otherwise, you can just copy the folder as is. I'll be zipping it up to make this a little quicker for myself. But you can right click on the folder and copy it. Then you can go to a USB and right click paste. Now that depending on the USB in the computer that will take a little bit of time but please make sure you have enough space on your USB. Let's go back a step here. If I right click here and go down to the properties I can find out how large my Cabmaster is as to whether I have enough space. If you do do the right click send to compress zip folder this will squish this file down into size, making it a little bit smaller. So if space is an issue, this could help you. But this is the method I'm going to use. Now I'm going to jump forward here. All right, and that has now finished. At this point, it's giving me a, a chance to rename that file. I could rename it if I wanted to, or leave it as is. Now the process here to take a zip file to your USB is exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, copy, Go to my USB, right click, paste. Now depending on the speed of your USB and your hard drives, that could take any amount of time. We're going to skip right ahead. Right, so that process is now finished. So what we'll do now is unplug our USB and take it to the new computer. Now people can safely eject that USB or pull it straight out. So now we're back on our new computer. This computer does not have Capmaster, in fact it has very little. So what we need to do is first of all download and install Capmaster on this computer. So here I've opened up a browser already and I've gone to our website. If we go to the support help center, we'll get the knowledge base. Inside here we can install in a search for install Capmaster. We've already done an article to help you out, but attached to this, it also has the install CD that you'll need. Please feel free to follow these instructions on how to install a CD, bearing in mind that option down here for step 2B and 3 are optional. Advanced users may want to watch, uh, use those choices, or the support team, can give a, you can give a call and we can assist you with that. But I'm going to save myself the time. I've actually clicked this download, and I actually have that in my download folder. Now in order to install it, you simply run the file. You'll get several various questions on the way through. I'll skip through some of these steps, but I'll show you the key pieces. I'll be jumping time as things take time to install. So once all these things have unpacked themselves, 
it'll eventually open up the actual installer. Now this question here is dependent on what sort of license you have. Some of you may have the little purple USB HASP license, or some people may have the newer cloud license, which doesn't involve a physical product at all. In my situation here for this demonstration, I actually have the older USB HASP version, so I'm going to answer this question with no. The next process is to read through these documentation pieces and press next. Read through the license agreement and agree. Now here's where the path of where your install is going to be. As I noted earlier in the video, my path was different to the typical install one. You can see here there is the dot one being used. I'm going to keep things easy between my old computer and my new one and actually do the same thing. So if I go to the Browse button, I actually get the opportunity to change what the path is. Now I could do more changes than that, but that's the only change I want on my one. So if I press the OK, and the Next button, and then the Next button, and then the Next button. This process here should be relatively automated from this point on, and most of the questions will be yes. I'll, I'll sort of halt the video at different points just to show you how I'm answering those questions. So then this question comes up, this is the installer for my USB lock. If you were doing the cloud one, this question won't come up for you. Alright, so now that the installer has finished, we just now need to finish. I'm just going to close this window and minimise this one. Alright, so Cabmaster is currently reinstalled, as you can see, there is a shortcut now on my desktop. But now I need to get my files from my old computer to replace the installed ones, because the copy from my USB is better. So I'm going to open my File Explorer, and as you see, I have not got my USB plugged in, so I shall do that. A portable hard drive could be used, of course. Now that I've plugged it in, you can see my USB has arrived. Sorry. Going to click on my USB drive. Now whether you have zipped it up or whether you have copied the files is two very simple steps. If I just copied the files themselves and not zipped it up, all I would need to do is right click copy and right click paste if I'd actually not done it zipped. But because I've done it zipped, I'm just going to paste it here for a moment, and then I'm going to extract it. Depending on your USB uh, drives and your hard drives, this could take different amounts of time. Now that this zipped file is here, I need to unpack it over the top of the existing Capmaster to become the same as mine. So if I right-click, extract all, to that location, Okay, so once the unzipping has occurred, or even if you are copying and pasting the files without it being zipped, you will reach this message here. In this situation, we do want to replace all the files, because the files we're bringing in are better than the ones we installed. So here we say, replace the files. This process could go quite quickly at this stage, as the first process was quite slow whilst it was working out which files were different. Once again, I'll speed up this video again for this part. All right, as that now enters the last stage, the copy is almost complete. Within a few more seconds, we'll have all our files over the top of the installed version. And complete. Right, so now when we run our shortcut, which has been created there by the install CD, please feel free to change the name of this if you would like. I like to rename mine, so right click, rename, pro, version 10.1. That way I know which copy it is. But now as we run Cabmaster, this is now an exact copy of what was on our computer previously. And that's how we transfer our Cabmaster from one computer to another. Thanks very much for watching.